Welcome to another Civ6 Guides, Tips, and Tricks video. This time we'll be taking a look at how to play out your first 30 turns in a sort of sample setting. Um, I decided to go as the French because they don't really have any bonus that you'll see in the first 30 turns. So this is just sort of like what you would do just as sort of like a normal Civ without any um, anything you want to prioritize specifically. Um, this should give you some kind of idea of how to optimize the first 30 turns, because those turns set you up for basically the rest of the game, more, more or less. Um, the more tempo and advantage you can get over your opponents in this time um, snowballs out, because it has more time to take effect, basically. Any advantage you can get earlier on is... Um, much stronger than advantages later. Just because then you can get a larger advantage later. So we're going to start. Um, clear move is to go to the sugar. Because it's four food in our capital and a luxury. Um, you can see right here. If you look at this stone tile, it's a breathtaking five. Um, so if we look at our appeals. That's um, a nice way to see sort of what the terrain is around. So we can probably guess this is a good campus spot. Um, so I don't... When I, when I look, I can also see that this thing, you can see there's a little end to a river. It's sort of in the fog of war. Um, but you can always see the ends of rivers, even in tiles you can't see if you just take a little bit of time to look. So I know that this river ends, so there's no subtle spot like four tiles away this way um, that's directly on this river so what I like to do is I like to set up my warrior to go um, towards where my first settles are so I see rivers here so let's settle first thing you want to do when you settle um, go for scouts scouts give you information information is okay so this is really, really strong um, that we're finding this right now. Um, getting barb camps early uh, is going to get you a large sump of gold, um, lump sum of gold. Um, you can kill it really easily with your first warrior um, and pick up that 50 gold and then buy something in your capital to get your snowball start. So let's move to the other side of here. Okay, so we've got We've got like a nice rice tile maybe to settle. We've got a 2-2 two -two silk here. That looks good. Now if we slam this two times, we'll get a promotion and then we can kill it on the third day. So. And the spearman won't come out um, unless there's a scout that it's already found in our city. So we haven't seen that scout, so we're okay. So, let's see, we have, this is good, I'm going to send the scout in this direction, and then we are going to start work on another scout, because I haven't found a particularly amazing settle yet, so I want that more information. So now our warrior can get the battle cry promotion, and then he can kill off that spear. Spearman had a, it's in a jungle, I think, rainforest, so it's a little bit harder to kill him off. So you can see that this was a good camp spot. Okay, so we've got like a coastal settle here that could be really nice here. That'll be a nice setup. You could even do like a plus three campus here, a plus four campus. Has some nice setups. But let's start with a settler. Start getting on the settler. So did mining first because I have a lot of hills. I have no real way of thinking that there's horses, but I also do horseback riding or animal husbandry.
and I have 50 extra gold. Uh, I'm just going to wait around with that, see what I can get. So right now, lots of flatland right up here, so I'm not particularly excited um, for that way. Um, there's no food down in this sector. It's very plain, it's heavy, and it's also coastal. Not something I'm super looking forward to. Um, something that looks interesting is maybe going towards this 2-2, two -two, this other 2-2. Two -two. Which scout would go this way? You can see that there's coast on this side and coast on this side, so that's generally an indication that there's going to be sort of this is going to end down this way when the two coasts get really close to each other. It's not always, but um, you can take some educated guesses and we'll save your scouts. So let's just keep going. So we would need to retreat this guy. Let's, go this way. Let's change to, since we have something we can immediately get going, let's get uh, with a scout, double XP thing here. Now, I see a lot of rainforest. I'm going to go for the ranger promotion. So I'm already like um, seeing for this rice. I'm gonna buy a tile here so that I have a quality tile to work. It has four yields on it, so these two have two food, two production. This one has one, one food, three production. Quality tiles are really big. So you if you can spend money to get those tiles, it's usually worth it. I think Craftsman Early is a good starter, even if you don't have a worker to improve things. You're going to get a lot out of getting this 50% towards Ancient Classical Melee. Units. Okay, so we have a, a horse right here, which is really nice. So let's try it. I'm going to get this warrior over to that hut as quickly as I can, and then Okay, so this is fresh water. Um, let's see what's over here. Ooh, get Lysa Ford. So this looks like a nice quality subtle. Um, this will get me three food in the city, and then I can also get all these things over there, which is nice. So that's definitely where I'm going to go for my first subtle. And um, this scout can go here. Next turn, when the settler moves here, I'm kind of considering buying a scout just to escort, but not necessarily interested in that proposition yet. I'm kind of more going towards a worker just so that I can, if you're buying one, pick up some more tiles. This horse tile. Uh, maybe even quarry early on, but um, I think this time I'll go for archery. The reason being is that I want to get to horses as quickly as possible. I have a horse already I can hook up quickly, and then I can go and find a city state. So let's just keep going. So move out. Guy. Next thing, monument. Very important to pick up whenever you can. Monuments are pretty critical to get early on because they are basically doubling what your culture is right now. So I have 1.6. I got a monument that'll be 3.6. So we've got another wonder. We've got a kill over here. So that's really nice. It means this 
promote Scout can get promoted again. Let's see what this one does. Experience. I need to kill up. We also found Fez first. So that'll be the city state we go and kill. It's not looking that bad really. We got it's on river, it has a bunch of hills. So definitely I'm gonna go for some horseback riding with that city state. Found another hut, we can move two, and then we promote. Uh, I always like to take um, the double movement based promotions. Helps me out quite a bit. So this might be a little bit sketchy with that uh, slinger hanging around. But early on, you want to prioritize production. Production gets you to he thinks quicker, um, but you also want to be growing in the time frame. So, because I settled on four food, I'm fine working a one food three production. Usually, I like to work to at least have two food uh, doing something. But things like the three food one production, it's not really worth it because it's too much food, um, losing that ability to get what I'm trying to produce quickly. So let's see what the slinger does. Yep, of course he did that. So let's just fortify. Move this guy down. Okay. Envoy hut. Nice. So let's move down here. Let's get that other hut. Get a worker out. Actually, in this case, I think settler would be nice. Um, you can see that there's. I can only get one more settle on this river. Um, so, because there's when I sit from here, I can get something in this area. So, could go for something on Icky Hill. Um, this is not a bad city because I got and work this two two three. I've got a bunch of hills at a reasonable distance. Um, when you're looking at cities, you wanna try and see what their later game potential is. So not just the yield you can get, it's because some people would think, okay, selling cocoa is easy. Just get extra three gold. You don't have to work the cocoa. It's a really nice city, but you can only get to this hill, this hill really easily, and then this hill here. And um, in the expansion, it's might uh, or in the patch with uh, lumber mills, it's not as important that there's lots of hills, but you do get to... Apprenticeship is a little bit easier to set up before um, construction. and All this stuff is rainforests. There's like a few forests there. Okay, awesome new population. So this is fine to work. Some extra science yield. This is some gold. So we see that we're next to another sieve. Got La Rochelle down. Usually say go for a monument. I forgot to go over why I want urban planning. Just usually gets you out a settler like one turn earlier and then you can also get like things like the monument quicker. Saves you a lot of time early. Um, God King, if you want a certain pantheon, um, it's nice to take it because it's basically guaranteeing you it. Um, guaranteeing something. Um, but generally, I think that there's less useful pantheons um, on this patch than 
useful ones. So if you have to take something, if you have to take God King, um, everyone else who's going God King is basically on the same timing as you. So you're guaranteed to like sort of get into like an RNG fest. If you get a hut, um, sometimes I just unlock the cards for 30 gold and then I pop the God King. That way you can get the benefits of urban planning, but if you do happen to get a hut, get a pantheon. This is uh, some barbs. There we go, 10 Faith Hut. So now what I'm going to do... Um, i change off this. I'm going to unlock 25, pop the God King. Now I can get a Pantheon in two turns. This is Cephia. Now, when I'm looking at a third city, I do like the spot of going to Big Hill. And I think that's probably the best spot. It's a very good yield tile in the Coco. It's a wonder, so it'll be nice for producing like wonders or districts near here, though not really any good adjacency ones. I think this is a good safe settle because all these things down here I can settle whenever I want to. So they're not important to get to early. I think if I want sort of I think maybe if I had more information I would settle something here. But I just don't know what's extremely optimal over here. I think Hill would be pretty good. I think that's fairly good assessment that there's probably at least one other hill because I can use this hill, this hill, this hill, this hill, and there's some forests as well. So that's actually not bad. Both of the, and they're also both for apartment each other. So that's probably where I would set up. Something like this. This. First meet on Rapa Nui. And we get Pantheon choice. I would love to... I think Religious Settlements is the best one. Pretty much no matter what, if you're going for something like this. Because uh, then I can get a settler out to both these locations. It's awesome. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because... Other things I would maybe consider. I have two turtles, but that's not going to be two productions not worth this free settler right now. I don't have any camps. I could do this for the horse, but that's kind of pointless. God of the Forge helps me with that early production of my units, but I don't really need that. Free builder and food on these tiles would be somewhat nice. Um, the free builder is pretty good. And this benefit's pretty decent. I don't have a lot of those resources around. Um, nothing else is useful, so I'm taking religious settlements. So. so let's send this guy off. Let's also purchase scout. I didn't think I would get religious settlements. So. Let's promote this guy to a century. Another thing um, to point out is Golden Age. Um, I got kind of lucky on this one, and I got two Natural Wonder Meats. 
so I'm really close. But there are some things that you can almost always get, no matter what. If you're going um, for Golden Age. So the first one um, is on the tech tree, and it's just getting to one of these techs. So either horseback riding or iron. I think getting to one of those is pretty, pretty easy. Um, if you're just going down the animal husbandry, archery, horseback riding, you should pretty much always be able to get this. Um, if you go for pottery, riding, and get an early campus down, you can easily get to one of the classical technologies. If you go for mining, um, bronze working to get a general, and if you go for like iron work, it also works out. Um, even if you're a naval civ, um, you can go like astrology, sailing, and celestial communication. Get hard things out. Um, another one that is a little bit harder to get, but very possible is political philosophy. This one gets you one point for getting the technology or the civic, and then two points for the. This was a game with multiplayer, or I don't think this settler would be coming up this map. There's no good subtle spots. I have no idea why it's headed this way. So we got Bandar Brunei. Is it an easy quest? No, I'm just going to pop it in on boy. Because I'd like the extra stats. For so I can use my aunt for help like that. So now let's get moving. Let's pop in this and let's go for state workforce. Oh my goodness. I got a builder. I'm going to send him back this way so that saves me some time. I'm just going to go because I got that. I'm just going to go for another settler. But we have horseback riding up to build a pasture, so need to go any further. Let's just go pottery. Okay, so now, okay, this is growing to this in two turns. Because I've just gotten really lucky, I'm going to go for this and buy that out the next turn. That's so well. So, the scout will escort this unit. Everything's working out really nicely. At Armog. Some extra faith. Okay, so this is pretty good. So, usually, what I would do is I would recommend that. Um, I mean, this is a really exceptional start because I got religious settlements, I got a free worker from a hut. Everything's working now. It's, it's a really nice capital. Sixty gold for my hut. Things are turning out in my favor. I'm gonna head for riding. I'm gonna start accumulating some horses. Hopefully, I'll set up to kill Fez. Probably the one big misplay was not getting worker out. I should, probably should have gotten worker into settler so I could start building these horses and I could have killed Fez pretty much immediately after building these two. So 
Um, I'm looking at this, and I think I want to get a campus down. There's a nice spot right here, but I need masonry, so I'm going to build a builder. I'm going to move it over here, chop out this stone, and so I need masonry. Hmm. Let's see. Subtle here. Subtle here. Perfect. Move another settler here. So now we got our first governor. Let's pop in Pangala into our capital. Pangala always. So we got horseback ride. Let's go. Monument here. This is an insane amount of land. I think this is pretty abnormal. I did Pangea small as the settings for this, but it seems very strange. But now we've got Nantes down. We should be able to get another city. I'm thinking probably the one down here, safe settle. Probably right. If I settle right here, I'm intersecting some tiles that I want for La Rochelle, like this campus. This one looks pretty sick. So, I'm just going to wait here with the chop. Same for this guy. I'm going to move him over here. I'm just going to shift enter. Let's just go into the options. Just add a turn timer for right now. So now let's take Pangala. Um, you always want to take Connoisseur first. Um, it's way harder to get culture than it is science in a lot of cases. Um, Connoisseur also allows you to then get political philosophy really fast. So if I was um, in tight bind, see that I have like five turns left. Political is only three. Um, this would really help me accelerate. This is also sort of a high culture start. I, there's like some silks around. Um, I got a first meet on Rapa Nui. But you saw that sort of after. Yeah, like La Rochelle got its monument. Paris got its monument early. Um, you just sort of get a lot of civics. And you can sort of time Pingalas for getting both his promotions. Um, I sort of mistimed it this time because I did have to do a little bit into foreign trade. While I waited for God King to give me the faith. But that's just sort of how it is sometimes. So, got 16 more seconds, then I'm gonna 
chop out this tile here. This. And then this tile here with the other guys. And two contract guys. So let's do this. Wait. Uh, mix that up. That's going to be way too much production. Way too much. Way too much. That was a misplay. I also think I wasn't moving this guy because of the time. But. Let's first let's buy this tile. Then let's just turn this tile a little bit down. So now I'm gonna chop out this campus in one turn. Campus in one turn. Down to this tile. I'm going to go for currency. Get a trade route between um, one of these cities out here. My capital. So now I've got 21 or 19 science, 21 culture, and I can pop in Law School Republic to get me some work on builders. And let's pop in this card and let's get, just do land surveyor since we're going to do that next turn anyway. I can work on culture tradition for the horses to build. So. Here, I probably should have bought a tile a while ago, so I'll just do that. Here, here I also should have bought a tile. But while we have the cheaper card on, let's just buy a full tile one out. Let's go for a worker here. Then La Rochelle, let's go for a builder. Let's go for campus immediately. And then I'm also going to buy out Turtle Tile. So I changed off to Uber. Once I get this done, I'm going to build a trade route to Fez so that I get a road there. When I declare war, it'll end so I can move my trade route somewhere else. Okay, but that was the first 30 turns of this game. Now I can get a Golden Age, I can pick up Pendrush and Voice, and I've got a really nice start. I've got five cities down, got two campuses, a third on the way, um, I've got really strong statistics, I've got 17 gold per turn. Um, this is sort of how you can set up a really nice base. If you didn't want to settle another city for now on, now be fine for a while be good you can see that there's like another subtle spot down here that's safe you could settle another city here get another campus down 
which should be really good. Um, and then there's also all this land out here, so you could take your time um, and sort of set up some trade routes over to Rapa Nui, get all this land settled. But the fact that I have five cities down and I'm already getting districts that are of good value, it's important. So try doing like a first 30 turn kind of thing in games following this kind of strategy. Like buying things that are important to you early, like scouts for information and picking good spots for your second cities that get good amounts of production. Just paying attention to the little things really helps. So thank you for watching. Uh, good day. Bye.